Jansen Harris here with the final play on the Just Good Network. Here are two head coaching candidates I would like to see the Falcons go after. I think the Falcons would have success under these two guys. Let's start with offensive coordinator for the Tennessee Titans, Arthur Smith. Highest scoring offense in Titans history last year, in the last 16 years, excuse me. Went to the playoffs, great play calling against the Ravens, winning that game 28-12. to I love what he was doing with Ryan Tannehill. Ryan Tannehill was a different guy with the Titans. I don't think he's that talented. You saw in Miami, he had maybe one good season. But at the end of the day, look what Arthur Smith was able to do with him. Arthur Smith, to me, I have him higher than a guy like Eric Bieniemy. Even though Eric Bieniemy is a top of people's list, I kind of shy away from him because I see, okay, well, you have Patrick Mahomes. You plug Patrick Mahomes, a superstar quarterback. I think anybody succeeds with a superstar quarterback. I'm not saying coaching doesn't matter because coaching matters. But Arthur Smith, he's do, doing it with a guy in Ryan Tannehill. I don't think is that good. I don't think Ryan Tannehill's a superstar quarterback. I think he's a game, a little bit better than a game manager. Okay? I think he's a little bit better than a game manager. And that's why, to me, I've been so impressed by the 38-year-old, him getting the job done with A.J. Brown, implementing him in the offense, implementing Davis. I love the targets Davis is seeing. They're very balanced with Derrick Henry. I know he's a superstar back, but still the production he's able to get, the play calling and the situations that he is in because of Arthur Smith, I like him atop that list when it comes to the Falcons searching for a head coach. And then I look at Robert Salah. I love the defensive energy that he brings Salah is the type of guy, he's emotional, I think he's different from Dan Quinn, I think his message would hit a little bit harder, you have to love a lot of the things the 49ers are doing, and when I look at Robert Salah too, he builds secondaries, okay, they were first in passing in 2009, sixth in turnovers, second in total defense, monsters, man, fourth and sacks, and the Falcons have had a big problem with sacks. I think Robert Salah would come in there. I think he would have a lot of influence, too, on who they draft in the first round. I could see them potentially going defensive end if Robert Salah is brought in. And and that's the interesting thing about this coaching search for the Falcons is, is you could see them going anywhere. I could see them bringing in Arthur Smith, and them drafting quarterback. If they bring in Eric Bieniemy, I'm not too high up on him, but I understand and I get it, and his opportunity's coming. He could bring in a quarterback, but you bring in that defensive coach, he might have the influence to say, hey, let me bring in a defensive end, or this is a, a great quality cornerback draft. Let's go cornerback. So the Falcons literally could go anywhere with this. Do I necessarily think that The new coach will bring in a first-round quarterback? No, but I do think they'll think about it, and I do think that they'll have a hard look at things and say, hey, you know what, maybe the second round, maybe we trade back into the first round to get that quarterback. So those are the two candidates I like. You guys let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. Which Falcon potential head coaches do you like out there, offensive coordinators? Let me know what you think. Hit me up on Twitter, Media Jansen, Just Good Network, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. I'm Jansen Harris with the final play on the Just Good Network.